Poppy and Pink Bear collaboration. Three little bears here are so cute. Pen Helmira, two lipsticks and an eye and cheek palette. And this is what we're gonna start with today. Net highlighting shade as a base all over the lids. I'm using the blush shade as a base shade all over my lid. Brown shade on the outer corners to give some depth to the look. I'm gonna use the pink shade all over our under eye. Some of that shimmer and apply it in the middle of our aegyo style. The shimmer shade is not showing up. Why? I'm gonna put some of that same shimmer shade on the inner corners. Draw our Eggyo shadow with this brown shade. Use a liquid one in the end. <laughs> Matte highlight, hopefully. I don't know how it works. And now I'm just gonna quickly contour with the contour shade. Applying some blush with the blush shade. This highlight, barely any shimmer. The Eye and Cheek palette in 01 consists of four matte shades and one shimmer shade. I use this palette on my entire face for contour, for blush, for eyeshadow, and even for highlight. Highlighting shade has a pinkish white base with a little bit of shimmer. Also has a little bit of silver micro glitter. Contour shades are nice even for my skin tone, I'm able to use it. I have the blush on today, gives a soft and playful effect. Also has a little bit of brightening property. I also have it on my eyes today as the main eyeshadow shade. The matte highlighting shade I can use but for my skin tone, I wish it was a little bit brighter. It's more of a suede effect than a blurry effect. E01, a bright peachy shade with a little bit of pink. To pull this shade off, your skin tone has got to be on the fairer side. If not, it can look a little bit neon. The shade itself is pretty bright. It gives off sweet yet playful vibes. I have on E09, it is a deep muted red. Old, alluring, mysterious, but gentle at the same time. These are easy to apply even though my lips are extremely dry right now. However, it still mm. feels a little bit drying. P01, the only shade I bought from their entire series from this collaboration. On me, it is an MLBB shade. It has a little bit of peach tones, red tones, and beigey brown tones. Nothing like that gentle and desirable shade in the picture. A little bit sad because my skin tone is too fair for this shade to look like that. Thin and light when it sets, it gives a very pretty glass finish. One is out for four hours just yesterday. <laughs> The kind of formula where when you reapply it on your lips throughout the day, the shade on your lips gets darker and darker and darker, so... Nope! It also stains your lips. I wore it for only 3-4 hours yesterday and when I came home and took it off, it did stain my lips. Meh! Shout out to this really cute mirror. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm not a fan of loopy, but it's nice to have. Oh, by the way, look at this. I have a allergy or a rash here. There was one that fled up here just now also. I have no idea what is this. Is this an insect bite or what? Because oh, it's not as red as when I first started out. And there is here. It's also a little bit red here. It's just some... Oh, this is a problem with sensitive skin because it just flares up for no reason. Oh my god, help. See you in the next video! <laughs>